Hey, so I have made it to week two of One Book July, and if you are just as shocked as I am, I would not be insulted. Welcome back. So today we're going to go through how things are going in my one book July journey week two. So I'm still in the same cover. That part hasn't changed at all. Um, same with the pockets. I shared this before. I'm not much of like a pocket decorator person. This cover for folks who are interested is a Moterm uh, B6 cover and the planner that I am in for one book July is the B6 common planner from Sterling Inc. and it is the academic uh, year, but it's the full year. So it did start in July and will end in June of next year. I didn't change anything on the cover as far as stickers go and I honestly probably will not. I did, however, add some more stickers on these pages and I can tell that they are going to fill up quickly. <laughs> I shared recently that one of my favorite things about ordering a uh, wing stop on DoorDash was that you get these cute little stickers like on your cups and the bags and things like that. So then we had also ordered um, Chipotle and the receipt on the bag is like a sticker material because they seal it. And so I just took it off of the bag and cut out the uh, Chipotle sticker and added it on there. I did start the page with the fruit or produce stickers, if you will. And so adding those in has been kind of fun. I've been trying to remember like when we go get groceries, just like quickly grab one off of each piece of produce because then when I wash them, they're taken off anyway. So if I don't get them like right when we get groceries home, I'm gonna miss out. So anyway, that's what's going on with that page and that's the update there. Now let's take a look at the pens and markers page. I did add a couple of the Crayola Super Tips that I'm currently loving. Now keep in mind, Crayola's markers are not numbered. They're named on the package, but not named on the actual marker. So I did go ahead and just number all of mine. That way I could remember which one I actually loved. For example, number five here, this one I've been using quite a bit. And it's this kind of like really fun, like pink color, not hot pink, but also not like a pastel pink. And I love it. I love it a lot. I haven't touched the projects page. I think that this is still going to be for plants. Um, reason being on our back patio, I am on like this mission to kind of keep the pests away, like flies, mosquitoes, things like that. And I recently found a few plants to help with that. And I kind of wanted to log that journey here. I think I'm gonna snap a photo of the plants and like what's working and like if it's actually working and what I'm noticing, things like that. I also recently planted some potato vine in one of our flower beds and I'm keeping an eye on that one because I heard it can be like a hostile takeover in a flower bed. So I really gotta figure out how I wanna map this out because it would have to last a really long time. and. And my fear is that I don't have enough pages for that. So it might be something that actually has to go in the back of my common planner. Just not sure yet. All right, habits. I have been keeping up with the habits. I'm kind of proud of myself here. And you'll notice like there's other little symbols or whatever. I have a circle here for like a medication that I have to take twice a month. Um, I did not take it yesterday um, because I need to wait till the following Sunday. Anyway, this has been interesting because I'm noticing a trend like um, if I were to continue to do this for next month, I would probably drop the no soda because honestly, I'm just not drinking soda like I used to. So I, it's kind of a habit that I don't really need to work on anymore, if that makes sense. The no spend is actually going really well. I have only broke my no spend twice since the start of the month. And yesterday was one of them. I grabbed some Sharpie pens when I was at Walmart doing groceries. So I'm, I'm just trying to keep myself honest here. And then the movement is what it is. You know, I still have like, you know, I'm on like light duty, if you will, um, just stay limited, kind of keep an eye on how my body is handling all of that stuff. But kind of loving that I'm keeping up with this and making it a point to really check in with it once or twice a day. And that's really been helping. 
right, let's check out the monthly page. Nothing has really changed here. I'm not using a lot of stickers in my like monthly and weekly pages. So when things get moved around, I just cross it out. It's not really that big of a deal. Um, and not much has changed because I haven't had much added to my schedule. I do need to add an additional doctor's appointment here um, that got moved and I'll put that in probably sometime later and I'll probably have another one this week as well because I believe my return to work date will be the 31st or the 1st of August. So that's how the month view is looking like. Here is how last week looked. So last week looked very similar to this week, to be quite honest. I feel like this rhythm is what's working for right now. Um, I'm adding a bit of like emoji stickers and things like that. Um, that has been working. So stickers from like either Once More With Love or Coffee Monsters Co. I even added a couple from Paper Bits Co. that were really cute, but I've kind of been loving um, as much as I can, like color coding things. So like, errands and things like that will be in gray for the most part. Content type things or social media type things will be in like this yellow color TV, which I've been watching a lot of TV, um, will be in orange. I'm missing a couple of things now that I noticed because I didn't put House of the Dragons in here and that definitely has to be added. Um, yesterday, I got to listen to a live Planners and Wine podcast recording that was so much fun. I meant to do that in purple because their colors are like purple and this like greenish bluish color. And I had a purple marker pulled out, but for some reason I just reached for the yellow one, but I have it all fixed for next week. So that's how that is going. I, I like this a lot just because... I was always worried about the weekly pages getting neglected in here. We'll see what it will look like when I do go back to work. Essentially, this is like a little bit of time blocking with a little bit of what happened kind of thing. Uh, just a little bit of everything. I also love these little bandage stickers from Salam Creative, but I didn't order a whole sheet of them, so I couldn't use them every day because I do still have... Uh, bandages that I have to change daily. So I was only able to use two. I do change my bandages every day per doctor's orders. I'm loving like still with the sleep tracking and the meal plan. I like it because then I can just kind of go over here and see what we had for dinner last week. I mean, we don't have to have a lot of repeats, but our rhythm like Thursday through Sunday is pretty much the same for the most part, which is usually like fend for yourself, take out take out <laughs> and then I cook a larger meal on Sunday which is typically why we end up with leftovers on Monday a lot that is how the weekly view is looking again I'm loving it I felt really overwhelmed in the Hobonichi cousin for some reason or I was just bored it's it's honestly a toss-up between those two but I love this size because I I feel like while well, there's still a lot of emptiness going on here it it doesn't look as empty as it did in the Hobonichi Cousin. I don't know, that's that's my story and I'm sticking to it. For example, this is how this week is starting out. Like that's all there is on my schedule, but um, I know that it's gonna get filled up. Like all I have is a, do a dentist appointment later on today. I'm recording this video right now. I will probably also get it edited today because I'm gonna try to keep it a little bit shorter and have it put up as well. And you know, because I'm not working right now, I, it just, have all the time in the world, if you will, in between all of my Love Island USA watching, which I am so, so behind. I'm determined to catch up. I'm de like, the show's gonna be over by the time I catch up, but I am now so invested that I just, I'm gonna, I just have it on play while like I'm doing other things and I'm listening. And I watch when like you absolutely have to, cause you'll hear them say things and you're like, wait, what, what the hell is happening? Anyway, it's a good show. It's a good like escape from reality, especially when you don't have a lot going on and you're just like bored to tears. Well, that's how the weekly view is going. Let's hop over to the dailies. I love my dailies. I Daily is where I thrive. I don't know if I showed you guys this last week, but this um, is over on my Instagram. If you're not following me over there, what are you doing with your life? Anyway, I know a lot of people will like hate Instagram now, but I, I still have a soft spot for it. So I went ahead and I got like the, what is it? The 50 pack of the Crayola Super Tips. 
Like I said, they're not numbered or named on the pen, but they are named on the back of the package. I just went ahead and swatched each of them, gave them a number, and then labeled them because I'm extra. Again, it's purely so that I can reference if I wanna go back to a color because there are truly some colors within this that make no sense to me. Um, and I'm gonna give you an example here. So this is 41. I know on camera it's gonna look pretty close, but the cap in person, here we go, you can see is way more of a maroon, right? But then this is the color. I hope that you're seeing like, again, you kind of have to keep them away from each other on camera because the camera is like, oh, let's make those colors look the same. They're not the same. See how like a rusty brown that is? And now look at this. That's, that's like a maroon cap. So a lot of people did warn me about that. Like things are not going to match or make sense and it's gonna be frustrating, but a lot of a lot of this is why I numbered it is because I wanted it to make sense and I wanted to reach for colors. Like here's another one, number 26. Again, on camera, I gotta get you guys up close. Let's get that further away. It's much more blue in person and a little bit darker. And then the cap is like, it reminds me of like that really neon blue color from Mildliner, except the one from Mildliner is more, uh, accurate because <laughs> you know it's, it's zebra they're accurate and they put their names on their stuff okay i'm gonna let that go i'm gonna let that go anyway this is how last week went i had a lot of feels yesterday was the, yesterday last week was a shit show in my opinion i was like all over the place in my emotions but i'm trying to like you know give myself grace and all that i was feeling down in the dumps on monday i was like i miss my friends i want to go swimming i want to be out in the sun but i also hate the bugs like that was like this whole little blurb <laughs> of me venting there and then like tuesday was like freaking hilarious because i had an a UPS return. I have an iPad mini and I bought a cover for it on Amazon like back in June. It really needs to be returned because I bought the wrong size. And it's one of those things where I couldn't have the Amazon pickup return. I don't know if you guys have that in your area, but mine, you can leave it on your porch. They'll come pick it up. That wasn't an option for this particular product. I got all the way to the UPS store and left it on my kitchen table. Um, so that was great because I don't leave my house very often. I'm trying to get back into driving because in the beginning of all this, I could not drive at all. Imagine trying to turn a steering wheel when your chest muscles are like, no, no, you can't do that. <laughs> so I was like, one little trip to the UPS store won't hurt unless you forget the very item that you need to go there. Anyway. Um, Thursday came along. Actually, this is funny because this is Monday and Tuesday on here. I just kind of separated it with these little dots. Again, this is why I love this book is because I can do whatever I want on each page. Um, this was Thursday. I wanted to journal a little bit about my little rosemary plant because I was so proud of myself. And I actually propagated a piece of the rosemary because I think I want more than one rosemary plant in my garden. I love this little sticker from Quirky Heart Designs because I was also in my feelings about Wingstop because my family, they're not huge Wingstop lovers, but I am. And finally, I just got everyone on board to order. Like normally we take a vote or we're nice like that. Um, <laughs> and I always get outvoted when I'm like, I really want wings. And everyone's like, absolutely not. But I, victory was mine on that day. Anyway, here we are with Friday. It was hot as hell, hot as hell. So um, just kind of journaled a little bit about the day. And when I have some excess empty space, and this is my tip for you guys, get yourself some of the, and I don't have them within arm's reach, but if you happen to have some Happy Planner sticker books laying around, like they make some big ass stickers and they are great for filling up the empty space. So that's what I did here. Um, then we get to Saturday. I mean, Saturday was, you know, a literal shit show. Like the weekend, I feel like, was. There were so many um, celebrity deaths. I wanted to journal more about the Shannon Doherty death because that one just hit me like, 
whoo, uh, you know, seeing someone who I was like a huge fan of, like in the 90s, I was a huge 90210 fan and she unfortunately passed from her battle with breast cancer. And, you know, I'm in the middle of that battle as well. Not the same type of breast cancer, but breast cancer nonetheless. And it just, you know, yeah, it just, ugh, it was rough. Anyway, um, mo these stickers are all from Quirky Heart Designs and sentiments all on this page. And so here we are on Monday, leaving myself a little bit of space to journal. Um, and so that's where I'm at with these daily pages and haven't touched anything in the back. Keeping stickers that I use daily or weekly back here has been really, really helpful. Got to tuck them back into that little pocket there. Um, but that is where we are at and I'm, I'm loving it here. Uh, the daily pages again are where I thrive. That's, that's where we're at for week two of one book July. I hope that if you guys are participating, it is going really, really well. I am staying strong. That is my status because one of my purchases where I failed my no spend was on another planner. And even though it is like literally sitting right over there, I'm refusing to touch it until August. Whew, you guys, let's talk about it. Everyone and their mother, brother, and sister has bought this little uh, day designer pocket it's actually like a six-ish size planner, and I I gave in. This is my one of my fails of my no spend. I didn't feel too bad about it. I think it was like six or seven dollars. There was a little saley sale going on over at um, Target. I actually had it delivered because I had it as part of a pickup order. They ran out of it in store because you guys won't stop talking about it. And so they ended up shipping it to me. What's funny is back in, I want to say late May, early June, I grabbed this one. <laughs> and I, part of me still prefers this bigger size. You guys, this is cute. She's just cute but this is much easier to write in. I So I got decisions to make. Again, these are planners that don't break the bank. If you're trying to find a budget-friendly planner, like I would 10 out of 10 recommend the day designer ones, but I'm really heavily leaning towards this one, but this one is definitely like purse friendly, or if you're someone who carries one of the, the belt bags, it's gonna fit in there. Unless you add like a cover and another notebook, which I see a lot of people doing, I don't think I'm gonna go that route. I already have a cover in this size and I don't even know who made it. And I know people are gonna ask, which is why I'm scared to show it because I can't I can't remember the maker of it. Um, I've had it for well over a year now, but this is what it looks like. It's gorgeous. It's one of those like undyed, really pretty material things. I had like a little Hobonichi notebook in here, but then I was like, that's cute. That's a little cute moment if I actually stuck it in there. But um, anyway, we're not, nope, we're staying. <laughs> we're gonna stay strong. Um, so that's where I'm at. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're already subscribed, make sure you click that notification bell so that you know when my videos are posted here on YouTube because YouTube like sends out notifications and things so you don't miss a video. All right, guys, I will see you in my next video, which will probably be next week or maybe another video later on in the week. <laughs> All right, guys, see you later. Bye.